Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on a Gemini Jets Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 in their current livery scheme featuring the split tip winglets in a 1-200 scale model. I purchased this model from Easy Toys and their website address is www.easytoys.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular aircraft model, please allow me to share with you some information about the history of Alaska Airlines and how they actually came about as an airline carrier. Alaska Airlines is an American-based airline that was founded under the name of McGee Airways, which was started in 1932 in Anchorage, Alaska by the late Linus Mac McGee, who was born in 1897 and passed away in 1988. And after a long series of mergers and acquisitions, the name Alaska Airlines was officially adopted on May 2, 1944 and commenced operations one month later on June 6, 1944. Alaska Airlines is currently the fifth largest operating airline in the United States of America after American Airlines, Delta, Southwest Airlines, and United Airlines respectively based on the number of passengers carried. It is also the seventh largest operating airline in the United States of America based on fleet size as well as, as the number of destinations served, whereas the corporate headquarters of Alaska Airlines is located in the Angle Lake Park section of Seattle, Tacoma, Washington, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located nearby on the grounds of Seattle, Tacoma International Airport, which is located approximately 14 miles south of the downtown Central District section of Seattle, Washington. Alaska Airlines also has operational hubs located at Los Angeles International Airport located in Los Angeles, California, Portland International Airport located in Portland, Oregon, San Francisco International Airport located in San Francisco, California, and Ted Stephen Anchorage International Airport located in Anchorage, Alaska. And the focus city hubs of Alaska Airlines are located at Boise Airport located in Boise, Idaho, San Diego International Airport located in San Diego, California, and San Jose Moneta International Airport located in San Jose, California. And at the time of this video review posting, Alaska Airlines currently flies to 128 destinations throughout the United States, Belize, Canada, Costa Rica, and Mexico with an operating fleet of 314 aircraft which consists of 11 Boeing 737-700s, 59 Boeing 737-800s, 12 Boeing 737-900s, 79 Boeing 737-900ERs, 1 Boeing 737 MAX 8, 65 Boeing 737 MAX 9s, 3 Boeing 737-700F freighters, and 1 Boeing 737-800F freighter. And in addition to the 314 aircraft that currently operates in the Alaska Airlines fleet, the airline also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 141 more aircraft, which includes 14 Boeing 737 MAX 8s, 15 Boeing 737 MAX 9s, 102 of the next generation Boeing 737 MAX 10s, as well as one Boeing 737-800F freighter, and those aircraft as we speak are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also at the time of this video review posting, Alaska Airlines is currently one of 147 airlines in the world of aviation that currently operates as a certified three-star airline carrier according to the international airline review firm Skytrax Magazine. Alright everyone, let's take a look at the box, front of the box you see here. What you see is the engraved Gold Gemini 200 decal, the Alaska billboard title, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the aircraft type, the 1-200 scale diecast model aircraft information as well as the item number information you see at the front of the box. Alright, now you're looking at the back of the box and what you see is the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal. Some more information you see it on the left side of the box. The Boeing official license product decal. The Alaska Airlines decal you see there. And then there's the social media pages of Gemini Jets. You can pause and read that information if you like. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving. Alright? All right, now you're looking at the top of the box, would you see the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal, the adult collectible model and warning information, as well as the item number information at the top of the box. All right, now you're looking at the bottom of the box, which is a little snap button right there, along with the Gemini engraved gold 200 decal you see there. 
All right, now you're looking at the left side of the box where you see the engraved gold Gemini 200 decal, the 1-200 scale diecast model and item number information, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, as well as the aircraft type information you see on the left side of the box, as well as the right side of the box, the same information on the left side of the box I showed you earlier on, okay? All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of Alaska Airlines and how they actually came about and still operating strongly as we speak, plus all the details here on the front of the box as well as the packaging, with no further ado, everyone, here is the actual aircraft model out of the box. Check it out. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Gemini Jets Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 in their current livery scheme featuring the split tip wingless and a 1-200 scale model. Alright, allow me to share with you some information about the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft you see here and how it actually came a part of their fleet. Alaska Airlines officially became the second North American based carrier as well as the seventh global operator after Thai Line Air, United Airlines, Copa Airlines, Fly Dubai, Iceland Air, and Turkish Airlines respectively that acquired its prestigious state-of-the-art next-generation aircraft as Alaska Airlines took delivery of its first of 80 of the next-generation Boeing 737 MAX 9s that Alaska Airlines had placed orders for as part of their Boeing 737 MAX aircraft package deal on October 11, 2012 and received their very first next generation Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft which bared the registration ship number N913AK which happens to be this aircraft you're looking at here at a special delivery ceremony that was held at the Boeing Delivery Center facility in Seattle, Washington on January 24, 2021. Then fast forward five weeks later after flying this aircraft for more than approximately 50 flight hours and roughly 19,000 miles around the United States of America, including Alaska, as well as to Hawaii, which actually allowed the flight crews, the maintenance crews, as well as the ground staff personnel time to get familiar with this aircraft. As this aircraft, unfortunately, didn't actually make its actual debut until March 1st, 2021. And that's when Alaska Airlines officially began utilizing this brand new state-of-the-art next-generation aircraft on their inaugural flight when it flew from Seattle Tacoma International Airport in Seattle, Washington to San Diego International Airport in San Diego, California as Alaska Airlines Flight 482. Then was followed by their Seattle to Los Angeles, California route on the same day respectively as Anchorage, Alaska, Los Angeles, California, Portland, Oregon, San Diego, California, San Francisco, California, San Jose, California, and Seattle, Tacoma has become the primary gateway basis for this aircraft type with the lion's share of their next generation Boeing 737 MAX 9s operates mostly out of their main operating base hub at Seattle, Tacoma International Airport in Seattle, Washington. Alaska Airlines has ordered a total of 80 of the next generation Boeing 737 MAX 9s to add to their fleet and at the time of this video review posting, only 65 of the next generation Boeing 737 MAX 9s are currently operating in service, while the remaining 15 are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery as this aircraft is destined to become one of the airline's official flagship jetliners for the Seattle Washington based carrier as Alaska Airlines expects all 80 of their next generation Boeing 737 MAX 9s to be fully operating in their fleet by the end of 2024. However, this aircraft has been grounded along with all the Boeing 737 MAX 9s around the world due to the door incident that happened on January 5th, 2024. When they'll get this aircraft back running, only time will tell, okay? Now let's talk about the livery scheme you see on this aircraft. This is the current livery scheme of Alaska Airlines, which was unveiled to its employees for the first time on January 25th, 2016. And two of the biggest changes to the airline's visual identity were the bold new design of its name and the iconic Eskimo that has graced the tails of its plane since 1972. The words Alaska were changed to a different font style and the aircraft tail fin was painted blue with the more modern happy face Eskimo in green and blue and the first aircraft that begun to sport this unique livery scheme was a Boeing 737-800 which bared the registration ship number N563AS as a new identity and livery scheme was created by the global design brand consultancy firm of Harnell Anderson, 
whose global headquarters is located in Seattle, Washington, with offices located in New York City, London, Hull, and Leeds, England, respectively. All right, so with all the information out of the way about this particular aircraft model, which is a nice aircraft, as well as the delivery scheme you see here, with no further ado, everyone, let's get down to business and allow me to show you all the details on this aircraft model. Show we? Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash left side, where we'll begin first, where you see the uh, front nose landing gears here. You see the landing gear door featuring the uh, partial registration ship number 913 and the uh, aircraft type Max 9. You see the Peter 2, the static ports, what have you. You see the radon right nose cone. You see the uh, cockpit windows and the windshield wipers. I'm going to give you a better vision view of those details later on in the model view. But underneath the cockpit windows is the Boeing, probably all Boeing slogan, which is this right here. I'm going to bring it up a little closer, okay? Check it out. Okay, you see that right there? Okay. And this particular slogan indicates that when you have Seattle's hometown airline, Alaska Airlines, that's teaming up and working locally with Boeing, who is also Seattle's hometown aircraft manufacturer maker, that's definitely an indication of a winning combination for the Pacific Northwest, the airline and the aircraft manufacturer maker as a winning team. Okay? All right. We're still on the port side of the aircraft, and right next to the L1 entrance door is the slogan, Welcome Aboard, which is this little slogan you see right here. And this particular slogan is to welcome passengers aboard Alaska Airlines as passengers prepare to be met with great service and great hospitality during their flight, exactly what Alaska Airlines is actually known for, okay? As well as the, uh, in there, as well as the Alaska billboard tire you see there at the front of the aircraft, okay? All right, we have the center of the aircraft here on the port side, and behind the engine, you see the nice little landing gears here, including the landing gear doors. But more important, these nice engines you see here. These are the CFMI LEAP, which leading stands for Leading Edge Aviation Propulsion Dash 1B28 Turbofan Type Engines that are used on this particular Alaska Airline Next Generation Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft. Now you see the engine cones right there, as well as the sawtooth pattern. Now, the purpose of that sawtooth pattern there is for noise reduction and help improve fuel efficiency at the same time. Then you see the engine lip here on the uh, engines right here. Now, we're going to turn this aircraft model around. We're going to actually see if the turbo fan blades do spin. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port side. That's left side featuring the engine strike you see right there. Now, we're going to see if the uh, turbo fan blades do spin. Let's check it out. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Okay. And then there's the inboard landing lights right there, as well as the front visual view of the landing gears you see there, including the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. All right. Now you're looking at the engines on the starboard slash right side of the aircraft featuring the engine strikes over here as well. Now let's see if the fan blades spin over here as well. Perfect. All right. And there's the inboard landing lights you see there, as well as the front visual view of the landing gears on this side of the aircraft, which include the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft, where you see the partial registration ship number right above the cockpit windows, 913. You got a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the radon right nose cone, the front nose landing gear doors, the landing gear lights inside of the landing gear doors, the landing gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the landing gears. Okay. All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft. And what you're looking at is the wingtip device you see here. And these newly advanced high tech wingtip devices are actually called the split tip winglets. And the sole purpose of these split tip winglet wingtip devices is to maximize lift and improve aerodynamics and fuel efficiency at the same time. As these wingtip devices are actually resembling a three way hybrid between a blended winglet, a wingtip fence, and a rake wingtip. And then there's the red navigation light you see right next to that uh, split tip winglet wingtip device. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft uh, here on the port side where we're going to see the American flag decal, which is right next to the registration ship number you see there. And this flag decal represents the country where Alaska Airlines currently operates from as one of the major flag carrier airlines of the United States of America. 
Well, right next to the American flag decal is the actual registration ship number, N913AK, which you see this right there. Registration ship number N913AK. This aircraft is actually the very first of 80 of the next generation Boeing 737 MAX 9s to enter the Alaska Airlines fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on June 26, 2019 and was finally handed over and delivered to Alaska Airlines on January 24, 2021. All right, now you're looking at the uh, tail fin of the aircraft, and what you see is the Air Alaska Airlines corporate logo, which happened to be this nice-looking Eskimo-looking guy right here. And this happy face Eskimo has been on Alaska's aircraft ever since 1972. And this happy face Eskimo happens to be of the late Alaskan native Oliver Imuak, who was born in 1895 and passed away in 1987. Imuak was also a, a Nupiat Eskimo, as well as a Klondike gold miner. This logo is also a true testament to the airline's strong heritage, commitment, service, and involvement in Alaskan communities. All right, let's talk about the airline's livery colors you see on this aircraft. In addition to the majority of the aircraft that's painted in white, which you see this right here, which features a gray underbelly there, Alaska Airlines gave each color a descriptive name to denote the destination where Alaska Airlines currently flies to. For instance, the tropical green, which will be here, here, there, and there. This typical color represents the tropical and international destinations where Alaska Airlines currently flies to, including Hawaii and Costa Rica. While the three palette colors of the soothing blues actually symbolizes for the flying experience, such as the Atlas Calm type blue, which will be this blue right here, there, there. The breeze blue, which will be here, there, there, and there. And the midnight blue, there, okay? Now looking at the rear of the aircraft, when you <clears throat> and what you're looking at is the APU is also, APU literally stands for auxiliary power unit. It ain't no hole there, they kind of paint it in there, but it's all good as well as the strobe light you see there next to the APU exhaust, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Check it out. There it is. Awesome. All right, now you look at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard slash right side of the aircraft where you see the front nose landing gears, the landing gear door, the partial registration ship number, the aircraft type, the Peter tubes and static ports, what have you, the rate on nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the Boeing proudly all Boeing slogan you see there, the Alaska billboard title, as well as the front car, front uh, boat bend door you see right there. All right, now you're looking at the engines here on the starboard side, uh, the CFMI Leap Leading Edge Aviation Propulsion that's 1B28 turbofan type engine you see here, the saw tooth patterns I mentioned earlier, the engine cones, as well as to see the gears right here, including the gear doors. All right, we're still on the uh, starboard side of the aircraft. And what you're looking at is the split tip winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft. Featuring the green navigation light as well as the nice looking colors you see there. Alright, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the uh, starboard side where you see the rear uh, boat bin door. You see the registration ship number, the American flag decal, the airline's corporate logo which happens to be the face of uh, Oliver Imuak. Okay, as well as the colors I mentioned earlier as well. And there's the uh, strobe light right there besides the APU on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, before I show you this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail, allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. It rolls pretty good. And it does tilt, as you can see there. However, the front nose landing gear does not swivel at all, at all as you can see here. No, I don't swivel at all, but it's all good. So, with that being said, let's check out the top of the aircraft, all right? All right, now you're looking at this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front of the aircraft as always. 
You see the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the partial registration ship number 913 it sits above the cockpit windows. Then you slide up this way. You see the anti-collision beacon light, a high frequency antenna, the ADF antenna, and then you see another high frequency antenna, and then there's the tail fan, and then there's the horizontal stabilizer featuring the uh, little dots you see there on the horizontal stabilizer as well as over here as well. Those little dots, everyone, are actually called illuminator lights, and the sole purpose of those illuminator lights is that it actually light up this tail fan here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the wings and the engines above. All right, you see the engines there. You see the wing walkway, the top of the wings, the, uh, the wing uh, information, as well as the flaps, slats, ailerons, spoils, what have you. And then there's the top half of the split tip wing, wing tip device featuring the nice looking colors there. Now let's check out over here. See the engines, the top of the wing, the wing walkway, the uh, the warning information on top of the wings, as well as the flap, slats, ailerons, spoils, what have you, as well as the top of the uh, split tip wing, wing tip device with the colors on here as well. All right, now look at the undercarriage belly of this aircraft, where it's mostly white and gray, you see there. We're going to start at the front here as well. See the radon nose cone, the 737 MAX 9, the aircraft variant. You see the uh, front nose landing gear doors as well as the front nose landing gears. And then there's a high frequency antenna there. And that's the hole where the stand goes in at, the end collision beacon light, and a couple more high frequency antennas there, the Gemini Jets logo, the pressure relief valve, the tail skid bumper, the sole purpose of that tail skid bumper is to prevent this aircraft from being damaged when it take off and landing when it uh, take off and land at a certain angle, okay? And then there's the APU housing doors right there as well as the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears right there. The engines as well as the wings underneath includes the flap, slats, aileron spools you see there as well as the lower part of the split tip wing, wing tip device you see there. Now let's check out over here, the gears there, the engines, as well as the wings underneath, includes the flap, slats, ailerons, spoils, what have you, as well as the lower part of the split tip wing, wing tip device you see there as well. All right, since I show you the aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail, now I'm going to put it on the stand. I will not use the stand that uh, actually came with the model. Uh, Jim and I just, you guys are not listening. I wish I'd do away with those tripod stands. Seriously, I hope y'all do away with it at some point. But instead, I'm going to use this alternative stand right there. So with no further ado, here is the aircraft model on the stand. Check it out. All right, fine, got this model on this alternative stand, no problem, no hesitation. Now I'm allow this model to rotate in a clockwise rotation. First, you're gonna look at it from the port side here, then the tail cam angle, then the starboard side of the aircraft, and then the front of the aircraft, and then back to the port side of the aircraft. Check it out. All right, since this particular aircraft model has no gear replacement doors, I'm gonna go ahead and take this model off the stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review, okay? All right, let's talk about the seating configuration. The Alaska Airlines next generation Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft seats 178 passengers in a three-class configured cabin layout. All right, everyone, here's the breakdown from rows one to four, which will be about from here to about right here. You have 16 first class seats, row six to nine, which will be about from here to about right here. 
you have 24 premium economy class seats in rows 10 to 34, which will be about from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have just 138 economy class seats, which brings a total of 178 seats. And finally, prior to this aircraft being grounded on January 5th, 2024, due to the door issue that came out this aircraft, in addition to San Diego, California, and Los Angeles, California, as the official inaugural flight destination on this particular aircraft, Alaska Airlines utilized this aircraft. I have previously utilized this particular aircraft, the next generation Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft, on routes from Anchorage, Alaska, to Juneau, Alaska, King Salmon, Alaska, Los Angeles, California, Seattle, Washington, Sitka, Alaska, San Francisco, California, and Ketchikan, Alaska, from Los Angeles, California, to Anchorage, Alaska, Honolulu, Hawaii, Newark, New Jersey, Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington, from Portland, Oregon, to Burbank, California, Chicago, O'Hare, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Honolulu, Hawaii, Las Vegas, Nevada, Los Angeles, California, Phoenix, Arizona, San Francisco, California, Seattle, Washington, from San Diego, California, to Boston, Logan, Honolulu, Hawaii, Houston Bush, New York JFK, and Tampa, Florida. From San Francisco, California to Boston Logan, Chicago O'Hare, Honolulu, Hawaii, Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington. From San Jose, California to Honolulu, Hawaii, and Seattle, Washington. And from Seattle, Washington to Anchorage, Alaska, Atlanta, Georgia, Belize City, Belize, Boston Logan, Bozeman, Idaho, Burbank, California, Chicago O'Hare, Cincinnati, Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, Dallas, Fort Worth, Denver, Colorado, Des Moines, Iowa, Detroit Metro, El Paso, Texas, Fairbanks, Alaska, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Honolulu, Hawaii, Houston Bush, Kansas City, Missouri, Kona, Hawaii, Las Vegas, Nevada, Miami, Florida, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Newark, New Jersey, New York, JFK, Ontario, Canada, Ontario, California, sorry about that, Orlando, Florida, Phoenix, Arizona, Portland, Oregon, Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, Salt Lake City, Utah, San Francisco, California, San Jose, California, Spokane, Washington, and Tampa, Florida. Those are the routes. Well, everyone, this will conclude this mall review. I'd like to know if you got this mall or you plan on getting it. It's still available. I highly recommend it. Snatch it up while you can. All right. So with that said, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more mall content coming. I definitely got a bunch of Alaska Airline miles to show you later on. All right. Peace.